the document of bill is nothing but what amount of value you are going to pay at what period of time you are going to pay and when you are going to pay everything will be listed in the bill whenever you pay the money before the maturity date that value of amount is nothing but your discount a bill is a document where you can purchase the goods and after some period of time you can fix or you can give the amount Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is Shruti lecturing in Vidyashram the temple of excellence Mysore so in today's session we will start the chapter bill discounting so what do you mean by bill discounting before that what are the topics related to bill discounting we will discuss it today and some formula to calculate the concepts or the important terms related to bill discounting using mathematical formulas now what do you mean by bill discounting suppose let me take a seller and a buyer so when i take certain amount of goods i'll receive a bill stating that suppose this is your bill you have purchased the goods so here will be the date and amount and period that is and a signature here place like this whatever the goods you have purchased you will get the document in the form of bill that is the date mentioned when i purchased it where i purchased this the amount and the period of time supposed i have taken any goods i have to pay the amount after 3 months so that period is mentioned here in this bill then this bill of exchange is nothing but it is an instrument used by the buyer or the seller whenever he are selling or buying or purchasing the goods that is this is a type of document that shows i have purchased certain goods purchased on the this date and on the required amount for particular period of time so this is nothing but a bill where it is used as a document for purchasing so this bill indicates whenever i purchase the goods this indicates the amount has to be paid within this period of time so for example i have purchased the amount for 25000 i am paying after receiving the goods that is after 3 months we can pay the bill of 25000 now what do you mean by bill discounting why there is a concept of bill discounting i said you have purchased a good of 25000 and you have taken 3 months of period to pay the bill suppose you have to pay the amount that you will pay it early for example after 1 month only you are ready to pay but here the seller is not ready to accept your amount what you are going to do at that time you will go to the bank so so bank will help you to pay the amount where you can pay him within one month but after 3 months only they will give to the seller that is after one month maybe you have to give the 25000 to the buyer you are ready to pay it before one month only so therefore you will get a discount on this amount and this discounted value is nothing but your bill discounting and this happen only through the current account where current account is only for business purpose so whatever the transaction you must be doing the seller and the buyer must be done with the bank only so bank will give you the discount for your amount and that is nothing but your bill discounting so you can pay the money before the period of time that you are accepted in the given bill now let us see what are the important terms related to this bill discounting and we'll see the definition of those terms first one is bill 
the document which required an individual to pay a fixed later date is called a bill. So it is a document. So the document of bill is nothing but what amount of value you are going to pay, at what period of time you are going to pay and when you are going to pay everything will be listed in the bill. That is called as bill. For example, when you go to any shops, when you purchase anything, for example clothes or goods, you will get a bill. That is a receipt. You are going to pay there itself and you will get a bill that can be used as a document for you to exchange whenever you need also. So like that, a bill is a document where you can purchase the goods and after some period of time you can fix or you can give the amount. So here that is why they have told you pay a fixed value later date. So the date when to pay is also mentioned in the bill. So that document is nothing but your bill. Next is discount. What do you mean by discount? When a bill is cashed in advance. So I said your period of time is three months, but you're going to pay after one month itself. Then what about your amount? Your amount will get certain value of discount. That is when a bill is cashed in advance, of its date of maturity, an amount is deducted by the money lender of bank. So here bank will act as a mediator between the seller and the buyer. So from the amount of the bill due, this amount deducted is called as discount. So whatever the money you are ready to pay, so for that value, the bank will give you the discount whenever you pay the money before the maturity date. That value of amount is nothing but your discount. Next we have a true discount. What do you mean by this true discount? The simple interest on the present value of the bill. The interest which they will apply on the present value of the bill is nothing but your true discount and it is given by the formula TD is equal to PTR. So here P is your present value on the bill, time is the time taken and R is the rate of interest for the present value of the bill. Next is banker's discount. What is this banker's discount? The interest calculated on the face value or the amount of the bill. I said whatever the value which is represented in the bill is nothing but your face value of the bill. So the interest they calculate on the face value of the bill is nothing but your banker's discount and that, that is given by the formula BD is equal to FTR. F is face value, time period and rate of interest. Next is banker's gain. The difference between the banker's discount and the true discount is called banker's gain and it is given by BG is equal to BD minus TD. So banker's gain is given by difference of banker's discount to true discount. So this is called a banker's gain. Next, discounted value of the bill. When a bill is present to a banker for a payment and he makes payment before the due date of the bill, he deducts his discount, that is what banker's discount, from the face value of the bill and pays the rest of the holder of the bill. The value so payable to the holder is called discounted value of the bill. As I said, when you are ready to pay the amount within the due date, so you will give that bill to the bank. So what the bank will do, they will put an interest on the face value of your bill and that interest or that some amount of discount they will give you back. That amount is nothing but discounted value of the bill. Next is legally due date. Legally due date shortly called as LDD. What is this legally due date means? That is the sum of bill period, drawn date and grace period of three days. That is nothing but your date of maturity when you are going to pay the bill as mentioned in the bill. So these are the important topics related to the bill discounting. That is one is banker's discount, next is true discount, banker's gain, face value, present value, LDD. That is legally due date. So let us recall what are all the formulas required for this concept now. 
And before that, let me introduce the terms used in the formulas. So F represents face value of the bill. R is rate of interest in decimals. T is time period in years. So if not in months or days, you should convert them into years. True discount, TD. BD is banker's discount. BG, banker's gain. P is present value. And here are the formulas related to the bill discounting. So banker's discount is given by the formula FTR, face value, time period and rate of interest. True discount is given by PTR or one more formula we can use FTR divided by 1 plus TR. Now BG is equal to that is banker's gain is equal to difference of banker's discount and true discount. LDD legally due date is BP plus DD plus 3 days that is grace period we call it as. Banker's present worth of discounted value of the bill that is given by F minus BD or F minus FTR because BD can be replaced with FTR. So if you take F as a common factor you will get F into 1 minus TR. So when banker's discount is given you can use this formula with the face value. When they have given only the face value, time and rate of interest, you can replace the formula with F minus FTR. If you take F as a common factor, you will get this as F into 1 minus TR. So only the face value, time period and rate of interest. Any two formulas from this can be used to calculate the discounted value of the bill. Next we have true present worth that is what we call it as a present value. So P is equal to FTR by 1 plus TR. Next is face value. The face value is calculated by banker's discount into true discount divided by banker's gain. Next banker's gain, true discount T into R. Banker's gain can also be written as Banker's discount minus true discount. One more formula is true discount into time period into R. Next is again banker's gain. We can use the formula of this true discount whole square divided by PW where TW represent the true present value or true present worth. The last one is true discount. This can also be calculated the same formula here square root of PW into BG that is banker's gain. So these are the formulas we can use to calculate any one of the terms related to bill discounting. Next we will solve the problems related to bill discounting. First question, a bill was drawn on 14-3-2013 for 3 months. When does the bill fall legally due? So remember the formula. What is the formula for legally due date? So we know that legally due date is given by the formula bill period, drawn date and grace 3 days. So now this is your drawn date and this is your bill period and the grace is 3 days. So therefore I will calculate legally due date. So I will write the date drawn date first that is 14 3 2013 and my bill period is after 3 months. So let me write 0 here. I will write 3 and 0 here. The grace period is 3 days. So therefore here 0, 3, 0, 0. Let me calculate now what is my bill period. You can add this. So 17, 0, 6 and 2013. So that is your legally due date will be on 17th June 2013. So this is your LDD. Whereas your drawn date was 14th March 2013. Next is find the banker's discount on rupees 900 due 5 months hence at 16% per annum. So what is the formula for banker's discount? Banker's discount is nothing but FTR, your face value, time and rate of interest. So what is your face value here? Your face value is 900 
Time should be always taken in terms of years, but they have represented in 5 months. So, how can I convert it into years dividing it by 12 months? So, therefore, it is 5 divided by 12 into. Now, 16% per annum is a rate of interest. So, therefore, it is 16 divided by 100. So, 16% means 16 per cent is nothing but 100. 16 percent, 16 by 100. Cancel it. So, when you multiply, you will get it as 720 divided by 12, which is equal to 60 rupees. So, this is your banker's discount to the given face value of the bill. Next question. Find the banker's discount on a bill of rupees 415 due 9 months, hence at 15% per annum, the same formula. So, the banker's discount will be equal to FTR. Your face value of the bill is 415. Time period is 9 months, so you have to convert it into years. So, it is 9 by 12 into rate of interest is 15 divided by 100. So, after evaluating this, you will get rupees 46.68. So, your banker's discount will be rupees 46.68. Next question. Find the present value of rupees 750 due 4 months and hence at 15% per annum. So, here we are finding the present value of the bill. What is the formula to find the present value of the bill? That is, P is equal to F divided by 1 plus TR. So, F is your face value, T is the time taken and R is the rate of interest. So, what is your face value? That is 750 rupees divided by 1 plus. Time is 4 months, so take it as 4 by 12. So, 4 by 12 into R is 15 percent, again 15 by 100. So, evaluate this. So, 4 1s are, 4 3s are, 3 1s are, 3 5s are, 5 1s are, 5 20s are. So, when you cross multiply this, you will get this as 21 by 20 or present value will be equal to 750 into 20 divided by 21. So, when you cancel this, you will get it as 714.28 in rupees. So, this is your present value. Yes, the last four questions was very simple, which may carry as one marks in your examination. And all the definitions related to banker's discount, true discount, all are very important for your knowledge. So, in today's session, we have learned all the concepts related to bill discounting and also the definitions and formulas of these concepts are very important for your calculation purpose. So, learn all these formulas. We will continue with few more problems in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.